Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create blob storage in Azure. Then we are going to learn how to create uh, Azure Data Lake uh, Generation 2 storage. And then uh, we will be loading some file to the Azure blob storage. And finally, we will be creating a pipeline in Azure Data Factory that will read the files and folders from our blob storage and uh, write to the ADLS uh, Generation 2 storage. Now, this could be a very common scenario. One of the scenario because uh, maybe people have uh, created their uh, HD the inside cluster and uh, they've been using a blob storage uh, and now this is the time for them to migrate them to the uh, ADLS uh, generation 2. This could be one scenario but there could be a, a lot of other scenarios where you have stored uh, or saved your files in the blob storage and uh, now you would like to use uh, ADLS uh, generation 2 storage. Now if you want to read more about the differences between them, uh, why they are used and all that, uh, I will suggest you read some articles on the Microsoft uh, website. Uh, so we are going to jump straight into the um, demo here. So first of all, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create uh, our uh, blob storage. So I'm on the Azure portal and uh, I'm going to search for storage here. And now you can see that the storage account is right there. Now you can hit a create and uh, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to create a blob storage. So we, we will select our subscription here, then our resource group, and then uh, the storage account name. In this case, I'm going to call this one uh, a TB blob. Let me move this one blob storage. Okay. And uh, that's uh, going to be in uh, East US. That's fine. We are going to select everything as it is. Uh, uh, we are not worried about uh, all those advanced networking and everything, uh, no other options here. So we are going to hit uh, create and it's going to go ahead and create our uh, TB blob storage. Now that's uh, in the process. Uh, so let's go ahead and create another storage. So it's uh, in the deployment process. Uh, let's go here, create a storage account. Now, one of the things, uh, if you notice there, uh, uh, I typed a store storage account and uh, I cannot really find uh, the, let's say, if I would like to say Azure uh, Data Lake. So if uh, Gen 2, so you see right there, it says Data Lake uh, Storage Generation 2, sorry, Gen, Gen 1, that's the, the story you can create from here. To create the Gen 2, you will not find something like a, a Gen 2 at all here. So if you do Gen 2, you're not going to find a, okay Data Lake storage uh, uh, Gen 2 here. So you're not finding it. So what we have to do, we have to use actually the storage account, uh, the same one right here. And then inside that, there is an option to select uh, the ADLS, uh, Azure Data Lakes uh, Generation 2. So what we are going to do, we are going to uh, use that option. So actually, uh, ADLS uh, Generation 2 is uh, uh, kind of derived from the Generation 1 and Blob Story together. So that's how it is. Uh, click uh, Create. And uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to select uh, Subscription, then Resource Group. And here I'm going to call it uh, TB ADLS Gen 2. Okay. So this is, uh, it's already taken. So... Let's do this. So, so do TBIT, okay? Tech browser IT, and uh, this is all good. Now, here instead of uh, uh, selecting standard recommended for most scenarios, general purpose V2 account, we are going to go for premium uh, recommended for scenarios where uh, required low latency. So, I'm going to select there, and here you have uh, this uh, blob page blob, you have a block blob, uh, block, uh, blob and file shares. I'm going to click on the block uh, blob. And uh, here, uh, this is all good. We can go to the advanced now. And then uh, what we are going to do here is going to give us this uh, data lake uh, generation 2. So I'm going to select that. It's all good now. We don't have to do anything else. Uh, so let me go back. Uh, and if I will uh, go right here and leave this one to the page blob and uh, go to the advanced. And uh, then uh, see right there, the current combination of storage account kind of performance replication is uh, not supported. So the blob, page blobs are not supported in ADLS generation 2. So the only one that you are going to use is a blo block blob. So once you select the blob, uh, I'm sorry, once you select the block blobs, then you're going to advance is, uh, and you will be able to use this uh, uh, data lake generation 2 
right here. So that's how it is going to create. A, that's all you need to do. Enable hierarchical namespace. Uh, that's the thing we need to select. Uh, and uh, this is all good. Now we don't have to do anything else. Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, create. Uh, So our storage accounts are ready and here we can see that uh, we have uh, TBIT Gen2 account is ready and then uh, we have TB Blob storage is ready. So if you see right here what's happening now you can't really tell uh, from here what type of this uh, storage is. Uh, it's in storage account that's all it is saying and uh, same thing for the uh, Blob storage or Gen2. Let's click on this uh, Blob storage and uh, take a look uh, and here uh, what you will see uh, hierarchy, uh, hierarchical namespaces are disabled. Uh, that's where you can tell uh, if uh, this is a, a blob storage or it is a ADLS uh, generation 2. Now we are going to go back here and let's go to the uh, TBIT ADLS uh, and you see right here hierarchical namespace is equal to enable. Uh, so that's what uh, where you can uh, tell the difference between two uh, blob storages. Uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to add some uh, folders and containers here. So I, I'm going to be in the blob storage and uh, let's add some container and we call it input. And uh, then uh, what we are going to do, maybe do another one, let's call it output as well. So we will add two containers here. And uh, then uh, at the end, uh, what I will do, I will uh, put some files uh, in the input. Uh, I'm going to go to the upload and here choose uh, some file from my local machine and uh, here we are gonna paste all of them upload they are uploaded successfully now one thing you need to notice there uh, we if you see right there uh, I have this uh, blob storage and I have input folder here now if uh, I would like to go ahead and uh, maybe create another directory here and uh, let's uh, go back and upload that so one thing I'm gonna do right here so upload I'm gonna go to the folders here and here I'm gonna create a folder called input so input and now inside the try again sorry this is already in, in uh, there is a file called the uh, input already there so it's not gonna create that I'm gonna delete that file so let's create this folder called input rename input now inside the input uh, maybe I can just remove another file and now I can select this uh, folder and uh, here file open now I, if I go to the advanced here and uh, here I can select the folder upload folder I can do input and now I should be all good what it is doing uh, it is uh, it uploaded uh, uh, folder right here so you can see that the folder name is input and also I have the file called the input and I am in the blob storage so I'm not in the ADLS generation 2 uh, storage I am in the normal blob storage so there is a possibility you will have a folder right here and then that folder have uh, this folder is uh, the, this folder and uh, the your input file there is a file with the same name so there is a possibility in the uh, normal blob storage but that's where uh, the problem happen if you are migrating these files uh, to the ADLS2 that's not possible so if you you cannot have the folder and file with the same name in the ADLS generation 2 so this is one of the scenario where I was working with one of the client and they would wanted to migrate their uh, HD Insight uh, uh, cluster files and uh, they had this scenario where they had these files and then they have these uh, uh, page blob and uh, they, they wanted to migrate and uh, they were not able to do that. So uh, because uh, they have uh, this file, their uh, folder name was the same and uh, their file names were the same. So that's uh, one of the scenario we will test that as well. Okay, now what we will do here, if I will go to the generation 2 and uh, if I want to create a container here and uh, let me call this container input gen2. Okay, so we would know that this is our uh, gen2 folder. Now, same thing uh, what we did there, let me try that uh, here and uh, let me upload and uh, we have uh, some files here and now what I can do, I can uh, go to the input folder yes file there this and now we'll upload upload the folder input upload and uh, you see that uh, input folder is uh, created there and then uh, we have uh, 
the files and everything right there okay so there, there is a hierarchy here that's uh, what happened in the uh, ADLS at 2 now if I will uh, try to upload a file here now let me go back here and uh, if I'll try to upload a file let me do one thing I'm gonna rename this file and call it input so then I want you to see what happened now this is input file yes okay try again because uh, I have a folder here so I can delete that folder so let me re type input and I'm gonna remove the extension so now I have the input file there and uh, what I'm trying to do I have this uh, ADLS2 uh, and there is a folder here and now I'm trying to load uh, the file with the same name and uh, this is what's going to happen so click on input and you see that the following file already exists input so this is not considered as a file a folder here this is considered as a file so if I will do overwrite uh, this file exists so what's gonna happen so now if I will go to the advanced input folder so if I will type something like that or even let's say if I don't type anything now what's gonna happen if I'll try to upload I'm gonna get this error upload uh, block blob to the blob store fail the detail this the request operation is not allowed in the current state of entry now that's where uh, the issues happen you know? so you see that uh, in the you guys notice that uh, in uh, let me op open another one portal that azure and in the blob storage you can see that uh, i have a folder and file with the same name that's not happening uh, in the adls uh, generation 2 so this is a uh, possible in the old uh, storage but not in the ADLS so I try to upload it but it didn't happen now um, if I will do input right here it will um, probably just overwrite existing uh, so it's not really letting me do anything so here if I will do say page blob that's also not supported so you're gonna see let's say if I will do input again and uh, you see that the page blob size of input file must be aligned with the 512 the current size is 49 so you can change that all those sizes and you have to make it 512 to load it okay so that's uh, one of the thing we learned that that's one of the issue uh, if uh, somebody is migrating from the old storage to the ADLS generation 2 and they have the folder name and file names uh, the same way what we have here in our storage now this is uh, all good here let's go and create the Azure Data Factory pipeline and then move the files so what we are gonna do we are gonna go to the author here and in the author we are gonna create a pipeline new pipeline and uh, use a copy activity in the copy activity go to source and create a new source we are gonna choose blob storage here and uh, then a uh, binary is fine because we don't care about uh, column names and all that so it's uh, just gonna be binary underscore input and now linked service uh, now I'm gonna create a new linked service here and uh, my subscription so we are gonna uh, do TB blog storage here and uh, now I'm gonna test this connection and uh, that is uh, that's good and uh, now what we have here our input uh, lnk is ready so that's our connection to the blob storage now what we are going to do we are going to click uh, on the input uh, and uh, we can leave this uh, okay let's uh, yeah we want to copy everything whatever is in the input folder and we leave this directory and file name as it is so read everything now next part uh, we are going to go to the sync and in the sync uh, we have to make connection to the ADLS uh, too so you see that, that we have Azure Data Lake storage too so we click right there and binary yes and uh, now I'm gonna call this one uh, destination gen2 okay now we are gonna create a new linked service uh, and here uh, what we need to do provide a subscription and then uh, in the drop down uh, we have uh, uh, we have to refresh and once we refresh here we get the TBIT ADLS Gen 2 that's our uh, blobs that's our ADLS uh, generation 2 storage now I can uh, give the name and I'm gonna call it Gen 2 LNK hit create and here we can uh, select our main uh, folder here input uh, Gen 2 hit OK and uh, that's it now we can go and uh, run the debug 
and what's going to happen is going to copy all the files and folders from our input folder to our ADLS uh, Gen, Gen 2 folder so that's what is going to happen now maybe it will fail because one of the reason in the one of the container what we have here in the input container we have a folder name and a file name they are exactly matching them so in the ADLS uh, uh, generation 2 you guys have seen that you cannot have the folder and file with the same name so it did fail let's take a look what happened here so if I go and take a look it says uh, conflict okay this uh, is happening on the path input uh, conflict uh, happened because uh, on the sync side and uh, this is the error you are getting so you you can see that I'm gonna copy this error and just leave uh, and uh, put in the description uh, later so you can maybe it will help somebody so this conflict thing happened because the there is a file and a folder uh, with the same name so and uh, what we are gonna do we are gonna hit uh, cancel here go back to the storage here let's take a look uh, if uh, some cop files has been copied so we go here and uh, in the ADLS Gen 2 and uh, here you can see that uh, those files all those files has been copied and also the input folder with files has been copied but there is only one problem it did not copy our input file because uh, it did copy our folder so I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything and uh, now we can uh, just uh, delete everything and then uh, now maybe I go back here and in the our storage main storage and what we can do we have this container input uh, and in the input uh, we have this file input uh, let me see if I can uh, rename this guy so how do you rename this uh, right here I believe so rename hmm why I can't even rename here there should be I believe there should be a way to rename but uh, I don't know what, what's happening here okay that's fine so I can just delete this file for now let me see if uh, yeah download hmm. yep I cannot see the rename somehow maybe I'm just uh, blind here uh, because I'm creating a video and once sometime you create a video you don't see a lot of small things uh, okay but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and delete this file here and then uh, read an hour uh, data uh, pipeline in the Azure Data Factory. So let's uh, debug again, and now this should be completing just fine uh, without any issue. Okay, it should copy all the files and folder from our blob storage to the Azure Data Lake Generation 2. Okay, so the, our pipeline has been completed successfully. You can uh, click on here and it will copy the nine files, uh, and uh, this is how much data it copied uh, and uh, uh, connections and all that. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. You can see that Azure Blob Storage and uh, it copied to the Azure Data Lake Generation 2. So that's how it is going to work. So only thing uh, if you have uh, uh, these uh, uh, input folders with the same name of the files, that's where the problem is going to be. Uh, in the normal Blob Storage, is, is there is a possibility you have those uh, folders and files with the same name, but in the uh, ADLS uh, Gen 2 is not possibility so you can see that uh, all the data has been copied uh, uh, in our case uh, to the ADLS uh, Gen 2 so if I go to containers and here is our container and uh, you can see right there okay so thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, this video will help and I will see you guys in next video